Welcome back to Village Connector TV. We're continuing our conversation with Nancy Stemple, the Executive Director of the Learning Community International. And when we took the break, we were talking about the learning experience that can be individualized and customized through the Learning Community International. And so I wanted to talk with you a little bit more about where does the curriculum come from? So with each enrollment, um, students um, have an electronic cur curriculum national standards with the four core courses, the math, the science, social studies, and English um, that they can use. Sometimes to customize it based on their learning styles, they might use that, and the, but the approach to that curriculum and that material can be customized. Um, they're not wedded to use that curriculum. They might use maybe the math, and they want to customize other courses, and they do that with their advisor, and um, it could be based on their interest. So even though it's social studies, they might have a specific interest in social studies for fifth grade that's not traditionally taught in fifth grade. Maybe it's taught in eighth grade. So you customize that. It's really customized based on their interest. So let me chime in there and give a real life example of how that's working for my son. Nolan is in his first year, just completed his first year of high school. Thank you very much. Yes, congratulations. And part of his history experience was that he took a constitutional law class online same curriculum taken by high or by college students right. got an 83 or something on that too as awesome. well but the point I'm trying to make is that that was not something that would have normally been part of the traditional ninth grade high school curriculum right. but that's what he was interested in so that's what he was able to select as his way to learn American history right. um, so that so that's an example You're, so you've got online resources that you can use to customize the curriculum Correct. like that you obviously have the core curriculum that's available through TLCI. And I think we talked about um, academic advisors. How does the academic advisor help you to customize and to um, individualize the study process? Well, it's really through um, a collaboration and a dialogue. And um, through that kind of Socratic questioning with the student, you find out what's really um, interesting and, and motivating to them. And so it is, you even look at the objective. So it might be, um, you can come up with a new a, a course title, a course description, and then objective. You find out what do the children really want to learn um, about a specific subject. And they just work with the student and break all that down. What is the subject matter? What are the projects they're going to do? And how are they going to um, show that they've understood and learned those objectives? But it's more than just what they want to learn. It's also how they want to learn it. Because you've actually described to me where you had a student who wanted to learn astronomy and ended up talking with and interviewing a NASA astronomer Correct. who through the TLCI network was available to him through the connections that you have in the academic world. Right. And I think when we find mentors in the community, um, it, they have a love of a certain subject and they're able to also transmit that to the student who has some interest in it. So it's a, it's a wonderful experience for the student especially at high school level, they might be considering a career in that um, particular field. So they're a able to ask specific questions. What are the prerequisites prerequis at the university level to, um, to actually be an astronomer? And at the end of the day, they might know they definitely want to be an astronomer or they definitely do not want to be an astronomer. And you know, I remember growing up through the learning experience in high school especially, that we were studying subjects and we had no real practical experience with where that shows up in real life so it was difficult to sit through algebra and other science classes chemistry whatever it was not knowing where this was actually going to be applied in our lives but when you see a NASA astronomer telling you about math and science and how it shows up in his daily routine or her daily routine now all of a sudden you understand why you need to master it if that's the direction that you want to go right um, we have a, a, a tutor that's part of the learning community, and he has his PhD in mathematics. He's written a couple of books on number theory, several papers he's written. And I had a conversation with him when we first brought him on board. And he said there's a lot of people that have that kind of high degree in mathematics, and it's kind of their own world. But his kind of his philosophy of learning is finding out 
how the students think about numbers and they think about math. How do they solve problems? And that's his way in to help them understand maybe some more challenging concepts around mathematics. And um, it's really having that patience, understand how they think, and how he can facilitate to, to, to learn things that are more challenging. So a big part of being part of the Learning Community International is the fact that you have put together a group, a network, if you will, of these resources, both digital resources and people resources that are available to the students as part of the crafting of their customized learning experience. And that's, that's usually directed by your academic advisor that's assigned to you, is that right? Correct. And if we don't have one of those advisors, I mean one of those uh, mentors or subject specialists in our bag of tricks, we'll go out and try to find them. So we do a lot of networking in the community. We get a lot of referrals to us. We have a, we have a lot of people out there um, you know, sharing their expertise with us. So now this picture of the TLCI learning experience is really starting to reveal itself in a very nice way. I hope that parents are understanding that this is a unique, empowering, individualized opportunity for your child to engage in education in a way that's just not available everywhere. In fact, I'm not aware of it being available anywhere but the learning community. I've done a lot of research, and I have, not, I have yet to find a program like the learning community. All right, so we're going to continue this conversation. When we come back, we're going to talk with Nancy a little bit about what the parent's role is in the learning experience. So stay tuned. We'll be right back.